Hello and welcome back to our analysis of the Heralds in Assassin's Creed game. Today we are taking a look at Assassin's Creed Revelations, and without further ado, let's let the Herald talk. A message from glorious Sultan Bayezid to his people. Fear not! Despite some turbulence, there is no foreseeable change in the eventual favorable conclusion of this war. Please remain calm, carry on with your lives in peace and dignity. Since this keeps coming up, I think we should talk about Bayezid II. Clearly, there's quite the disturbance going on with regard to the borderline civil war between him, his son Ahmed, and his other son Salem. But as I've mentioned before, this is Bayezid's second trouble with succession. After his father died in 1481, there was no clear succession between himself and his younger brother, Sem. Uh, this led to a battle between the two in which Sem defeated the army that Bayezid had sent to kill him, and uh, the younger brother proposed that they split the empire. Bayezid was not a fan of that, and it eventually led to a decisive battle in June of the same year, uh, in which Sem lost and fled to Cairo, made a trip to Mecca, and then landed in Rhodes, where he was imprisoned, but then sent to France. And while in Europe, Bayezid sent spies, ambassadors, and assassins after his brother, but his brother lived and eventually was moved to Rome. It's wild how interesting this brother's story is because his presence in that city with the Pope effectively acted as a deterrent uh, against the Ottomans invading Christian land. And the Pope benefited even more because Bayezid paid for Sem's captivity. Sem eventually died in French custody in 1495. But my point with all of this is that Bayezid had been through succession problems before, and these events must have been equally infuriating. The Janissary Corps have been heard playing a new marching anthem dedicated to Prince Selim. While this would seem to be counter to our glorious Sultan's best interests, the Janissary band say they simply applaud Selim's warlike qualities. In general, the key to power in Constantinople is keeping the Janissary Corps pleased. Their formation has been dated to the reign of Murad I in the middle to late 1300s. The Ottomans instituted a tax of one-fifth on all slaves taken in war, and it was from this pool of manpower that the Sultans first constructed the Janissary Corps as a personal army loyal only to them. They were expected to be completely loyal, and at this point in history, the paper strength of this corps was around 7,000. While their strength and power doesn't hit its peak until about 100 years after this game, they are a force to be reckoned with while Ezio explores Constantinople. All of this to say, if the Janissary band is supporting Salem, Bayezid is probably in trouble. The merchant Manuel Paleologos is asked to contact the Aga of the Trade Council. As the merchant has not been seen for several weeks, any who know of his whereabouts are also requested to contact the Aga. Okay, Manuel Paleologos is named here for a reason. He was the youngest son of Thomas, the brother of Constantine XI Paleologos, the final emperor of the Byzantine Empire. After his father moved his family out of Constantinople after its fall in 1453, the family ended up in Rome. In 1474, Manuel sought his fortune by offering military service to various nobles in Europe, but none of these really panned out, and he instead moved to Constantinople in 1476, a place where he had never actually been, having been born in 1455, shocking the people of Europe. The Ottomans apparently received him well though, and he lived out the rest of his days here. According to this herald though, he has been operating as a merchant, and he has gone missing. Now for those that have watched our playthrough, this is the large Greek man who has been planning the return of the Byzantine Empire alongside the Templars of this region, so apparently in the Assassin's Creed universe, he is getting quite busy. Under the patronage of wise Prince Ahmed, the city's Fellowship of the Quill have announced an evening of poetry under the stars. All who wish to have their hearts stirred and brains tickled are invited to attend. 
This is just a nice advertisement about an upcoming poetry session. Wonder if it's any good? While visiting our great city, good Prince Suleiman donated several chessboards to the midrashes of the Bailey. The craftsman Khalil thanks him for his generosity and consideration and also offers the public great prices on a range of models. This functions to support our belief that the prince is probably the best ruler of all the Ottoman officials we've seen thus far in the game. We've seen the prince play chess as well during this playthrough, and I'm pleased that apparently he has donated some things. Following the latest skirmish with Prince Selim, our glorious Sultan, sublime Bayezid, has decided in his great wisdom to leave unimportant Edirne and return to the jewel of his empire, Constantinopolis. The fight goes poorly. I'm still gonna keep most of the movements with the succession crisis quiet until we watch the rest of Assassin's Creed Revelations play out, but I definitely have to look more and more into some of the movements in the actual dispute. For now, let's move on. We are receiving reports of a disturbance near the arsenal. Some sort of popular unrest, although details are hard to come by. It is clear that injuries have been sustained by both civilians and members of the Janissary Corps, though not to what extent. For those who haven't seen our playthrough, this is a reference to Ezio inciting a rebellion that led to the arsenal being attacked. It was really cool. Check out our last episode of the uh, playthrough. But I'm not sure if this has any historical um, moment that it's tied to, but I'm certain that it's probably just here to reference that mission. And that will do it. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed content.